semester, our online class for this first semester, week three. Okay? So, before we start, let us feel the presence of God to this uh, prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your holy name. We thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for providing our needs and for giving us the chance to continue our study. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work and support us. And bless our classmates and friends who care for us. We are humbly asking for your guidance as we begin our online class today. Send us your Holy Spirit so we may understand and achieve the objectives of our lessons. Help us to listen attentively to our teachers so we may accept the knowledge imparted to us. Give us the energy and strength to participate in today's online class. Help us to be more focused so we may complete the activities and tasks for today. Fill our hearts with joy, our minds with learning, and our class with peace. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Okay, good morning once again. So we're going to uh, discuss today the, uh, uh, the, what's that? What module are we now? Module 3. Okay, so does everybody have a copy of Module 3? Wala po, sir. Wala po. Walang copy ng Module 3? Ako po, sir. Wala po, sir. Wala po, sir. Module 2 lang po, sir. Module 2 lang po, sir. Wait lang. Wala pang 3 and 4? Wala po, sir. Oh my God, that's <laughs> Wait lang, ba't wala tayong module 3? Ang nakuha nyo lang sa PR2 is module 1 and module 2. So, maybe I'm going to... Uh, did you see the module 3? Our MS Teams.
Nag-lag tayong lahat. <laughs> Nag-lag pa tayo. <laughs> no, ba? Okay. Anyway, module 3 is about the different types of variables. So, those who are uh, maybe... Uh, Kaya wala pa tayo mo. Oh, Ipoproject ko na lang yung ano, MSP. Kala ko nabigay mo yung mga children. Wait lang ha, nagkakaroon ng... Hindi ko rin mahanap yung module. Hello. Okay, can you see the module? Okay, so I'm going to upload this digitally on our uh, on our uh, MS Teams so you can follow. So I'm going to discuss today what this module is about. And this module number three, is everybody listening? Sir. Okay, so this module is about yeah. kinds of variables and their uses for your research study. So after going through this module, you are expected to do the following. Identify the different variables in quantitative research. You're going to determine the dependent in independent variables and create a possible research topic which includes the different variables. Okay. So what are the kinds of variables?
On our module 2, guess what are different types of variables? Dependent and independent variables. Okay, so thank you very much. Who's that? Who did answer? Debo. Ah, yes, Debory. Ah, Debory. <laughs> Debby. So, Debory again, Debory. Okay, anyway, sorry with that. And may I ask, what are the... From the activity you had on the last module 2, Choose one topic per type of quantitative research which you think is the best. Explain why the topic fits the type of quantitative research. Okay. Did you answer that on your Let's Extend last meeting? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, James, can you give one topic? The last time is ty our types of research. Sir, hindi ko po mabasa malabo. Hindi yung sa module 2 mo. Yung sa descriptive po, sir? Yes, uh -uh. Yung ano po? Ano yung topic na pang descriptive? Public opinion on political and social issues. Very good. Okay, so what are the variables there? The topic is the public, public opinion of, I know. So what are the variables there? Public, of, again, Anna James, what was that? Public, public opinion. Public opinion on, on political and social issues. Nino, who? Of the public. Uh, okay. Who are those public? Let's be specific. So, siguro mga ano, uh, Signal Village ano, uh, community or pag sinabi mong public, siguro mga ano, uh, or, ano, urban people living in Laguna, ano, uh, in Taguig City or can be rural, from rural areas like Laguna or Rizal or yeah. ano, di ba? So, yung mga urban people po. Okay, uh, urban people. Okay. And then, explain explain why it is a descriptive type of research because you're going to measure the public opinion and how many of them agree right okay so what are the variables for those for that particular topic so the variables are the opinion and the people what affects the people as uh, does uh are the people affected by opinion or the opinion are affected by the people? James? Opinion affected by the people. Okay, the opinion is affected by the people. Okay, so the result of the study depends on the opinion being affected by the people, by the demographic profile of the people. Okay, so you're going to study there how many male of those people uh, agree or have the positive uh, opinion and how many of the male or the female are do not enough based on the gender the demographic profile okay so what are the particular demographic profile the not the name not so important but rather um hati -hati ng mga tao. like for example the age bracket the uh what they call this the age the sex male or female and we have the uh, socioeconomic status maghirap mayaman uh medyo mayaman medyo mayabang okay so ano yung uh keme keme lang okay another uh we have also ano pa yung yung uh educational backgrounds of those people okay and another ano pa yung mga demographic factor okay so, yun ang titignan mo, yung mga bagay ba na yon ng people na yon ay nakaka-apekto sa opinion. Okay? So, maaaring yung opinion ay uh, magbabago-bago base sa iba't-ibang 
uh, demographic profile variable. Okay. So, moving on. So, meron pa dyan tatlo ha. So, you're going to answer this. Uh, descriptive. What descriptive topic can be possible? So, ito kaya siya tinawag na descriptive because it, you're not going to experiment. Okay. Next, comparative topic. Example ng comparative topic can be you want to compare your, I know, you're going to compare two variables like which uh, which type of school is better to have uh, online study, private school or public school. Okay? Yung pinabigay kong sample na nakarang, yung pinagawa ko ng questionnaire, uh, sana na pipigure out ninyo kung ano ibig sabihin ko demographic profile na never Ang tawag sa study na yun ay descriptive. You're going to describe only the phenomenon based on the uh, result of the variable. Next, we have the experiment, uh, quasi-experimental uh, research. Okay? For the quasi-experimental research, okay, it's like like you are experimenting but you are not actually experimenting at all. And we have the experimental research. We're going to find the words, terms, and then describe each term. Okay, that is the, uh, let's explore, kineme, and then let's study now the types of variables. Okay, so here we have four types of variables. So what are the four types of variables? Sir. Uh, who's that? Uh, yes, Victoria. Independent variables, dependent variables, sample variables, extraneous variables. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so that those are the types of variables that you can encounter on your uh, workbook, uh, what's it? module. But we're going to discuss the uh, the types of variables uh, in another reference. Okay, anyway, I'm going to upload this. Uh, upload this, uh, what's this, slide. So you will have another uh, reference with that. Okay. So each person or thing we collect data. Okay. Are called observation. Okay. Observation usually are the people or the ob or the subjects or the samples. Observation uh, are the participants who are going to participate in your study. And these uh, each participant has its own characteristics. The characteristics vary or may not vary. Magkakaiba-iba or maaring hindi magkaiba-iba. That's why you're going to find out at the end of your study which variable has significant difference or no significant difference. If, if the study has a constant observation, then it is significant. If it, if it does not vary at all or above 0 0.05 degree of confidence, then it is not significant. Okay? If characteristics of an observation or participant differs from group members, then it is called variables. Okay, characteristics that vary are what we call variable. Variable, parang variable, parang nagbabari. Okay, so what are the uh, observations that may vary or magkakaiba-iba sa characteristic ng tao? Can you give me one, Trisha Faith? Sir? Actually, nabanggit ko na. Okay? Ano yung makatangin ng tao na magkakaiba-iba sa ibang tao? Ano po? Yung... Yung... Example, sex, male, female. Apo. Magkaiba sila, so it is variable. Yung... Yes. Ano, sir? Yung status po. Status. Single... Marital status, single, married, uh, divorced, widowed, magkakaiba-iba yan. So, apat ang marital status. Okay? 
uh, pinaasa, that is another uh, variable. <laughs> Merong mga pinangakuan ng kasal, hindi naman natuloy, another variable. Yeah, hindi siya widowed, hindi rin siya separated, but rather pinaasa. Okay? So ano, another variable. Thank you very much, Trisha Faith. Okay, another variable. Sir, ugali. Yes, Rima. Ugali po, attitude. Ugali, attitude. Paano nakakount yun? Pag attitude, ano, Ate Rima, it's like, ang daming attitude. No? At yung sa attitude, may nag exist pang another attitude. That is qualitative. Okay? When we are pertaining to behavior, we're pertaining to uh, inner characteristics of people, like intelligence and everything, that is not uh, countable, okay? So it is not uh, variable for our quantitative research. But that is an observation to qualitative uh, research, okay? Thank you very much, uh, Ate Rima. Another... Age. Religious belief. Very good. Okay, oh. yes, Ivy said a religious belief. Okay, magkakaiba-iba talaga yung pagkasagot ng iba't ibang tao based on their opin ano, a religious opinion, cultural background. Yes, tama yun. Okay, uh, beliefs. Okay, sabi naman ni uh, President James, uh, it's ano, uh, age bracket. Kakaiba-iba based on... Pag nag-age bracket naman kayo, um, depende sa topic. Kung ang topic nga ay pang, ano, pang young adults and hanggang 30 lang yan, dapat ang range nila lang dyan ay is, ano, uh, 20, what's that? 19 to 20. For example, ang young adults ay mga 20 to 35. So, i-divide mo yun by 5. So, may tatlong dapat may tatlong range ka lang so 20 to 22 23 to 26 27 to 30 31 to 30 here uh, uh, something and then 33 then 34 and 35 okay so yung pagka-range para hindi masyadong maluwag hindi masyadong uh, divide din natin how many are possible uh, ranges for the age thank you very much James pero mahirap 'yon kapag ang pag-age ninyo pag nag-age kayo as variable, like 20 to 35, ang mga subjects mo ay 20 to 35, mga young adults. Hindi ko pwedeng, ano, 20, ilan ang mga 20, ilan ang mga 21, ilan ang mga 20. Ang dami masyado, okay? Masyado nag-vary. Magkakalat-kalat yung detail, magkakalat-kalat yung iyong mga uh, data. But rather, if we're, if we're going to make age ranges for that particular age, like, 20 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to ano. Kung tatlo lang yon, masyado namang konti. Ang kanya masyadong maluwag. So, siguro kung meron kang tatlo, by three. So, meron kang five uh, ranges. Uh, at least, uh, max of five ranges for each variable is okay. Okay? So, next. What is a variable? Somebody to please read. Si Kaunga, I've never heard of Kaunga. Sir. Kaunga. Okay, may problem Sir. yata siya. Yes, Dexter. Check. Okay. A variable is a concept or abstract idea that can be described in measurable terms. Correct. In research, this term refers to the measurable characteristics, qualities, traits, or attributes of a particular individual, object, or situation being studied. Okay. Anything that can vary, please continue, uh, Kenneth. Anything that can vary can be considered a variable. For instance, age can be considered a variable because age can take different values for different people, pe people or for the same person at different times. Similarly, 
income can be considered a variable because a person's income can be assigned a value. Correct. Okay. Okay lang, Cedric. Okay, next. Uh, so, yun, sabi nga, measurable characteristics, okay? Qualities or traits or traits, okay? Doon sa ating, ano, okay lang, Cedric. Uh, doon sa ating, sa binigay kong example nung nakaraan ng mga question na pinagawan ko pa kayo ng questionnaire online, um, yung characteristics, qualities, traits ay mga nilagay natin sa uh, dependent variable. Tama? Kasi they are affected by the independent variable. Okay. Because yung demographic profile cannot be affected by the opinion. But rather, the demographic profile affects the opinion. Okay. So, moving on. Uh, yes, variables again. Definition. Yes, Don. Hmm. <laughs> so, ano po, Lichon? Yeah, what are variables? Variables are properties or characteristics of some events, objects, or person that can take on different values or amounts. A variable, a variable yeah. is not only something that we measure, but also something that we can manipulate and something we can control for. Correct. Okay. So, thank you very much, Don. Uh, and Kunanan for re reading the, uh, the, the definition of variable. Okay, so variable is something that we measure or variable can be uh, manipulate, okay, or control. If you're going to do quasi-experimental or uh, experimental research, okay? What are the types of variables? Yes, somebody to please read. Me po. Yes, Jenny Dean. Independent variables are variables which are manipulated or controlled or changed. It is what the researcher studies to see its relationship or effects. Or independent variables can be the cause, okay? The presumed possible cause, okay? The presumed possible cause characteristic of the of something that may affect the dependent variable okay so sa ating ano sa binigay kong questionnaire na example at ginawa niyo ng questionnaire and i i hope na ano niyo uh, nagawa niyo yung online questionnaire niyo para mas na-picture niyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng ano ng questionnaire na yon okay um, ang ating presumed possible cause na maaaring makaapekto sa attitude ng teachers towards uh, online teaching ay ang mga sumusunod. Ano ang mga nilagay natin doon? Correct. Age. Okay. Ano pa? Occupation. Okay. Uh, occupation. Di ba teacher lahat yun? So, cannot be occupation kasi position siguro. Nilagay niyo ba yung position? Hello? Hello, narinig ba ako? Yes po. Opo, sir. Yes. Okay, so pag sinabi natin ano, um, position no, ng mga teachers can be a possible cause towards the attitude on online teaching. Okay, so ano pa yung mga other variables na binigay natin doon? In subject thought, sir. Subject thought, okay? Siguro, bakit naging ano, presumed possible cause 
Debbie, Debbie, can you give an explanation back sa tingin mo naging possible cause ang subject thought? Um, para sir, um, dun po natin malalaman sir kung effective po ba yung subject na um, tinuturo po ng teacher dun sa student during online class po. Okay, thank you very much Debbie. So, uh, that is a possible cause for Debbie. Another possible cause, bakit natin pinili yung subject thought as variable? Can you think of ano? Kasi may mga subject kasi na mahirap ituro online at may mga subjects na madaling ituro online. Okay? So siguro kaya pinili natin yung subject thought as one of the variables kasi, or possible cause, kasi ang hirap niya ituro i eh, paano ko gagamitin yung online teaching? Paano ko magtuturo online teaching? Eh, mahirap na siya ituro online. Like for example, mathematics, di ba? Mahirap siya ituro online, lalo. Di ba? Pati mga students, nahirapan din siguro. Siguro, matutunan yung mathematics kung online. Unlike nung ina-explain talaga ni teacher sa face-to-face -face, ano uh, setting. Tama ba ako doon, Debbie? Yes, sir. Kung baga, sir, um, kaya po natin um, nilagay yung subject thought doon, sir. Kasi doon po natin pagbabasahan, sir, kung ano pong strategy yung gagawin ng teacher, sir, para po maintindihan ng student po. Correct. Okay. So, that is so correct. Okay, now, ngayon, nagigets nyo na ba kung paano kumuha ng demographic profile? Kasi isasama mo yan sa iyong... Uh, yung demographic profile kasama yan sa theoretical framework you have to you have to look for theoretical background bakit mo pinili yung age yung occupation yung ano sa sa ano sa ang tawag nito sa yung study okay bakit mo sinama yung age or demographic profile or subject thought you have to find Uh, studies that will prove dapat kasama yan sa iyong study. Okay? Next, or you dapat ma-identify mo yung possible cause. Next, we have dependent variables or the presumed effect. Okay? Yung naa-apektohan. Yes, somebody to please read. Sir. Yes. Uh, Aljun. Dependent variables are the outcome variables and are the variables for which we calculate statistics. The variables when changes on account of independent variable is known as dependent variable. Let it is influenced or affected by the independent variable. Presumed results or effect. Okay, the presumed. Thank you very much, uh, Aljuan. So that is the presumed effect. So we have three kung meron ka independent variables at meron ka dependent variables, then meron ka dapat ikatlong statement of the problem. Okay. So, unang statement of the problem mo, what is the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of, ilalagay mo na yung mga possible causes. Age, demographic profile, ano yan? Demographic profile, subject thought, educational attainment, position, Uh, marital status, di ba? Yung mga single, bakit marital status? Siguro pag single, mas madaling makapagturo kasi walang anak na inaalala. Diba? Possible cost lang yun. Iniisip mo na may ay uh, maaring maka-apekto to. Okay? Then we have the dependent variables. Yung mga characteristics na nakalagay doon sa questionnaire. Okay? At titignan mo sa ikatlo, is there significant difference between the independent variables, demographic profile, and the attitude? Yung attitude ba, makukuha mo yung sagot mo doon sa second, ano, sa second statement of the problem. Pero ang tanong, stable ba, constant? Makukuha mo ba ng constant yung iyong sagot? Okay. 
constant ba yon na masasak kasi di ba sa practical research too we are talking about the generalizability of your study to the whole community because your sample just represent the whole now what you're trying to find out there on your statement of problem of the problem number three is constant ba is there significant difference or is there no significant difference so maapag conclude ka at the end of your study ay ang age hindi naman siya factor ay ang ano uh, marital status hindi naman pala factor at the end of your study you can ano you can make a recommendation based sa mga demographic profile and yung kanilang mga responses sa yung questionnaire that will be further be discussed okay so for today we just focus on that okay we all know that the independent variable affect the dependent variable oh my example okay somebody to please read cha sure yes please read Imagine that a tutor asks 100 students to complete a math test. The tutor wants to know why some students perform better than others. We, ano? While, we the tutor, while the tutor does not know the answer to this, she thinks that it might be because of two reasons. One, some students sp spend more time revising for their test, and two, some students are naturally more intelligent than others. As such, the tutor decides to investigate the effect of revision time and intelligence on the test performance of the, of the 100 students. What are the, the de dependent and independent variables for, okay, for the thank study? Thank you very much. Okay, so what are the... Uh, what are the, actually this study, uh, medyo na ano ako, paano kaya niya imi-measure yung intelligence? Ano kayang gagamitin niyang factor? Like what I said, yung intelligence, ang hirap, ano, ang hirap i-measure. Okay? Unless, meron kang, ano, psychological uh, measurement. Okay? Intellect that can measure the intelligence. Pero if you're not a, someone who is specialized, in ano, measuring intelligence sa college ninyo, maaaring yung, ano, yung inyong panelist magtanong paano measure intelligence eh, hindi ka man expert dun sa measurement na ganun I mean, hindi ka man psychologist or psychometrician or someone na expert doon tatanungin ang credibility mo with that then mababagsak pa so do not do not put yourself in jeopardy or in grave danger. Uh, pag tinanong ka na ng, ano yun, paano mo yung intelligence? Patay, nga nga ka. Di, di mo nga alam yun. So do not put intelligence, okay? So ito, revision time, pwede pa to. Okay, so Ken, Ken, what are the variables there? Are you there? What are the dependent and what are the independent variables? Who's this? Kent, ano? Buen? Buenvenido. Yes, Kent. Sir Chappie. Ano ba yan? Dumapit lang sa camera, Chappie na. Char. Okay, anyway. Next. Uh, who wants to, ano, to read? Uh, who wants to answer? Cedric Canceran. Yes, Cedric. What are the variables here? Napanggit ko na yung isa. Again, na, let's review. Independent variables affect. Dependent variable affected. The cause and the effect. Yes. 
sir yung ano 100 students okay so that those are the uh, samples okay so what are the variables of those students Yes, the revision time and the intelligence. What are those, Cedric? Dependent, independent. Dependent, sir. I guess. No, they are the independent variables. Okay, so what is the dependent variable? Deborah? Ano ang sir, variable dito? Yung student, sir. Students' performance. Okay? Ang tinatanong niya rito ay yung students' performance. Bakit yung iba nagpe-perform ng maganda at yung iba ay hindi nagpe-perform ng maganda? Okay. Now, ang kanyang mga possible na nakaka sa performance ay una, revision, time in revise or reviewing, and pangalawa, yung intelligence. So those are the two uh, independent variables. Okay? Yes, correct. The dependent variable is test mark. The independent variable is the Revision time and the intelligence using ideal score. Now, may I ask what type of study is this? What? Ano pwede nating gamitin ano, type of research? Descriptive ba? Quasi experimental? May experiment ba dito? Steph? Stephanie? Yes. yes, Debbie makes... What were you saying? Hello, Sir Deb. <laughs> Steph po pala. Yes, ano? Yes, Deb. May experiment ba dito? Um, for me, Sir, yes. Kasi, Sir, dito... Um, dun po kasi sa dependent variable, Sir. Um... Yun nga po, yung student intelligence nga po yung naging dependent variable. Tapos yung independent naman, sir, parang dun po tayo mag-base kung um, ano nga, kung sino po pa yung mga magagaling. Kung baga, sir, um, tawag dun, survey, sir, or poll yung magiging basehan natin, sir, para po malaman kung sino po yung um, nag-revise nung test or sino po yung, um, I mean, talent nyo na po talaga yung ganong subject po. Okay. So, kung magkagawa ka ng, kung yung mga hindi masyadong nagre-review noon, tapos pinag-review mo ngayon, nagbigay ka ng treatment, yun ay experimental. Tama ba, Deb? Yes po. Correct. Or yung mga hindi masyadong intelligent, pero, ano mo, okay. So, that is experimental. Pero dito, Dito sa study na to, you're going to identify the revision time. Identify mo lang kung sino yung mga nag-review, sa hindi nag-review, sino yung mga matalino at hindi masyadong matalino. Okay? Yes. It can be descriptive naman. O i-identify mo lang. Aalamin mo lang yung level of review, level of intelligence, at yung test mark. Kung may relation ba yung dalawang yon. So, that is descriptive. Pero kung sabi ni Debbie is, yung mga hindi nag-review, pag re mo, bibigyan mo na maraming reviewer, bibigyan mo ng magandang reviewer, mas tuturuan mo, at continuous mong minimeasure ang kanyang intelligence, then that is quasi-experimental. Pwede kang gumamit ng pre-test and post-test method. Pre-test, bago yung review, post-test, after nung review, then you can find the difference. No? Kung dati, 5 ang kanyang score, ngayon out of 50, 
45 pra. May significant difference? Yes po. Correct. There is, ang laki. Okay? Kapag 10 ang score, tapos 11, may significant difference? I don't think so. so. Hindi mo so, pa malalaman. Mm, yes. Pero pag uh, masyado malaki, masyado, makitang kita na na may significant difference. Pero kapag ano, uh, napakaliit, di mo masabi may difference ba o wala. Merong isa eh. Pero hindi ko sure. Kaya doon na doon ka na magkakaroon ng statistical ano uh, measurement like C tests, F tests, ANOVA, analysis of variance. Wow. Okay, medyo mahirap na. Baka inisip ng iba diyan napakahirap naman na yan, sir. Don't worry, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-measure ng mga ganoon. Kaya pinapa-ready ko yung mga variables ay yung questionnaire at pinasagutan niyo na yata kasi marami ng teachers nagpatanong sa akin. So, yung nagpaano ka ba? Like, hindi exercise lang yun kasi may gagawin kami. Tuturuan ko sila kung paano mag-measure ng differences. And uh, where we are going to need laptop in the, ano, no, kung yung magkakagrupo, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-measure ng mga differences. Okay. So, anyway, moving on. Okay, identify the dependent and independent variables for the following example. Number one, who would like to read? Sir? Yes, Cedric. A study of the teacher, student, classroom interaction at different levels of schooling. Alin dyan ang mga variables? Yes, Cedric, what are the variables there on number one? St ano, student, sir. Correct. And in general, study of teacher student classroom interaction, tama ba? Opo. Okay. At yung second variable natin ay? Sir, ako, sir. So number two ka na lang, girl. Ah, si Cedric. Si favorite student to si Cedric. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cedric. Ano yung second variable natin? Different level, sir. Correct. Of schooling. Of schooling. Okay. okay. So again, Cedric, what are the two variables that you can find on number one in number one? Teacher, student, classroom. Interaction. Interaction. Okay. Correct. Ask. Tapos, in variable yes, next, I different levels of schooling. Now, what do you think affect or what do you think get affected? Okay. Anybody can think. Sino dyan ang na, alin ang naapektuhan? Yung teacher-student classroom interaction or different levels of schooling? Teacher-student classroom teacher. interaction. Alin yon? Aljun? Yung naapektuhan siya. Correct. Okay. So what do you call that? Dahil yan ang naapektuhan, dependent, independent? Independent. Aljun? Independent. Ay, dependent. Dependent. Kasi siya yung naka-apektohan. So, ano ang nakaka-apekto sa teacher-student classroom interaction? Different levels of school. Correct. So, that is our independent. Okay? Any question? Thank you very much, Aljun. Ang galing naman. Okay, next, number two. Who would like to try? Thank you very much, Aljun. Okay, sino pa? Sa ano naman, sa kineme, sa caregiving. Joanna Marie. Joanna Marie? 
ka. Ay, ako nagtampo ka ni. O, oh, number two, please read. A comparative study of the professional attitudes of secondary school teachers by gender. Okay, thank you very much. Now, what are the variables there? Professional attitude. Correct, professional attitudes of secondary school teachers. What is the another variable? By gender. Correct. Thank you very much, Joanna Marie. Pag sinabi natin professional attitudes, it's ba it varies. Nagkakaiba, iba. Okay? Professional attitudes can be measured by perception, how they see themselves. Okay? So, attitude can be qualitative or quantitative study. Pero this one, sure ako. Okay? Parang si ano, yung architect. Sure ako na ang professional attitude na tinutukin niya rito ay measured through perception. Tingin niya sa sarili niya. Okay? So, maaaring magtanong kayo, sabi ko, kanina pag attitude, mahirap i-measure. Pero dito, maaaring gumamit siya ng uh, ready-made na ready-made na questionnaire. Okay? That measure or that vary attitude by gender. Now, ah, uh, Alin dito ang nakaka-apekto? Yung gender o yung attitude? Sheila May? Sheila May, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, Sheila May. Ano ang na-apekto kan? Attitude o gender? Attitude, sir. Correct. Yun yung na-apekto kan. Thank you very much, Sheila May. You're very good. So, kung yun ang na-apektuhan, dependent, independent. Sheila May. Huwag mo ako nilalayasa. Sagutin mo ako. Dito pa ako, sir. Yes. Dependent, independent. Kung attitude ang na-apektuhan, Anong tawag sa kanya? Dependent or independent? Dependent po. Perfect. I love it. Okay. So, attitude ang ating uh, dependent variable, hindi ang gender. Imagine mo naman kung ang gender ang na-apekto. Ha? Nagbago lang yung attitude. From girl, naging boy ka na. Wow. Magic. Okay. So, hindi ganoon yon. So, attitude ang dependent variable kasi siya ang na-apekto. Anong pagkababae or pagka lalaki walang pagkabakla okay complicated na yon okay so dapat male or female lang okay next natin Moderator variable. What is moderator variable? Somebody to please read. Sir. John. Uh, yes, Aljun. It is a special type of independent variable. Correct. Continue. The independent variable's relationship with the dependent variable may change under the different conditions. That conditions is the moderator variable. That factor which is measured manipulated or selected by experimenter to discover whether it modifies the relationship of the independent variable to an observed phenomenon. Okay, so the factor which is measured, manipulated, are moderator variables. Ito yung mga variables na hindi naa-apektohan but rather makaka-apekto. Kapag meron kang, uh, kung nag-e-experiment ka, Kagaya nung napag-usapan kanina sa sagot ni Debbie na kapag ano, nag, yung mga nag-review at pinag-review. Yung hindi nag-review, pinag-review mo, binigyan mo ng reviewer. Yung binigay mo na reviewer ay moderating variable. Nakaka-control, nakakapagpago, nakakapag-manipulate. Okay? So, yun ang mga moderator variable. Variable that Okay, somebody to please read. 
Example? Sir. A strong relationship has been observed between the quality of library facilities, X, and the performance of the student, Y. Also, this relationship is supposed to be true generally. It is never less convenient on the interest and inclination of the student. It means that only those students who have the interest and inclination to use the library will show improved performance in their studies. In this relationship, interest and inclination is moderating variable, i.e. which moderates the strength of the association with X and Y variables. Correct. Okay. So, may, thank you very much, uh, Rima. Uh, for example, meron ka study, laging sinasabi nila kung may, uh, uh, pa, ang susi sa magandang, ang magandang edukasyon ay pagkakaroon ng magandang library facilities. Now, kahit maglagay, naglagay na ng magandang facility, pero hindi pa rin nag, hindi pa rin gumanda ang estado ng edukasyon. Bakit? Kasi merong moderating variable. Walang interest. Walang inclination. Na mag-experiment ka, paano mo ipalalakasin or pa... Ano ba yun? I-ignite ang interest and inclination ng mga tao. Ay, siguro dapat may additional ano, pakulo. Okay. Lahat ng magla-library, magla-library ng sampung beses sa isang linggo, merong uh, 100 pesos load. Wow! Okay? So, puntahan ng mga tao siguro, no? So, ang tawag doon, interest and inclination na naaaring uh, makapagpapunta sa tao sa library at magbasa at matuto. Okay? So, that is uh, interest and inclination. Any question sa ating mga variables? Any question? None. Thank you. Okay. So when we say quantitative variables, quantitative, quantitative variables are ones that exist along the continuum that runs from low to high interval and ratio variables that are quantifiable or countable. Quantitative variables are sometimes called continuous variables because they have a variety of characteristics. Okay, example nito, yung mga height in inches, scores on tests, okay? These are something that can measure, okay? Can be measured, can be scored, can be counted, okay? How about qualitative variables? Somebody to please read. Steph? Stephanie, can you please read? Yes. Qualitative, yeah. qualitative variables do not express differences in amount, only differences. They are sometimes referred to as category, categorical variable because they classify by categories ordinal, no, nominal variables, and qualitative. Nominal variables such as gender, religion, or eye color are categorical variables, generally speaking, categorical variables. Okay, nominal variables are the, the gender, religion, kinema. Okay, by category. Okay, we have the variable variables can be classified qualitative or quantitative for qualitative we have nominal and ordinal quantitative can be interval or ratio what do you mean by nominal nag-aral na kayong statistics di ba what is nominal variable can you review Sino best in statistics ng ICT?
Kenneth Kenneth Ku Ku Nana Where are you? Sir, may ginagreat lang po, sir. Dexter. Sir. Yes. What, what? what are nominal variables? What do you mean by nominal? <laughs> Sir nominal? Ano? Sir nalimutan ko rin. Sir. Yes, I'll do it. Nominal level data can only be classified. Example? May lupit. Yes, Stephanie? Male or female po, sir, gender. Nominal yun? Sir. Yes, Deb? Um, nominal po, it describes a variable that um, with categories that do not have a national order of ranking, sir. Example? Um, yung zip code, sir, blood type. Okay, very good. Okay, yes, Trisha Faith, you want to say something? I will have a Ano sabi mo? We have also ordinal. What do you mean by ordinal? Sir, last. Yes, I'll do it. Ordinal statistical data type where the variables of natural order, categories, and the distance between the categories is not known. By category? Yes. Okay. How about interval and ratio? Six, seven. Interval and ratio. Kane, are you there? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. So what is interval? Interval is a measurement variable that is used to define values measured along a scale with each point placed at an equal distance from one another. Equal distance. Example none. Sir, ano so, po yung temperature? Temperature. Temperature. Okay. It is differences between measurement but no through zero. Okay. So another, how about rate? Sir, ako po. Yes. Ratio date, ratio po is difference between measurements through zero exists. Plus example po is height, age, weekly food, and spending. Weekly food, spending. Okay, thank you. So next natin. So measurement scales can be or nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. The nominal scale. Nominal scale can be uh, gender, political preference, place, or a uh, place of precedence. So those are the nominal, okay? No order, it can, but categorized by male or female, or political preferences, independent, democrat, republican, etc. Ordinal scale is by... Ordinal scale are uh, 
categorize no uh, order by there is order of variables yung likert scale is an ordinal scale okay example ng mga likert scale on a survey you might code educational attainment at zero less than high school one some high school two in this measure higher numbers mean more education but is distance from zero to one Yan. Okay, kapag nominal, ang gagamitin, gamitin natin ay mean. Kapag ordinal, ang gagamitin natin ay median. Could you please take note of that? Mean, kapag nominal, kapag ordinal, ay median. Alam niyo na kung paano kunin yan, di ba? We have this interval scale that is a uh, numerical scale where the order of the variables is known as well as the difference between these variables which have similar, constant, and computable differences. Okay? We use interval. Okay. In statistics, interval scale is used as a numerical value cannot only be assigned to variables but calculation on the basis of those values can also be carried out. Calendar years and time. So kapag ang study mo ay uh, longitudinal, then you use... Yeah. Likert scale is also most used in verbal scale. Okay? Ratio scale is defined as a viable measurement scale that only produces the order of variables, but also makes the difference between variables known along with information on the value of true zero. Sample nito, what is your daughter's current height? Less than five feet. So less than five feet up to zero. Next, you have continuous and discontinuous variable. What are they? Could you please read? Sir. What is the continuous variable? Yes, please read. If the values of variable can be divided into fractions, then we call it a continuous variable. Such a variable can take infinite number of values, income, temperature, age, or a test score are example of continuous variables. These variables may take on values within a given range or, in some cases, an infinite set. Thank you very much, Debbie. So these are variables that uh, that continuously changing, okay? Like the income, temperature, age, yan ay continuous or nagbabago-bago, okay? Next, we have the discontinuous variable. Somebody to please read. Jan Jan. Jan Jan Novella. Sir. Yes. Yung second, ay, fourth paragraph, sir. Yes. Any variable. Any variable that has a limited number of distinct values and which cannot be divided into fractions is as discontinuous variable. Such a variable is also called as categorical variable, as classificatory variable, or dis discrete variable. Okay, example na discontinuous variable. Yung hindi nababago. Male, female, example yun. Another. Pag dalawa lang, dichotomous. Pag dichotomous, ang gagamitin natin yung statistic dyan ay CPETS. Okay? Next, we have Paki, ano? Paki, Bans? Kapag more than two, hindi na siya dichotomous. Pag more than two, hindi na siya dichotomous. Ano na siya? 
Adi more than two. Sorry. <laughs> so example nito yung race, religion. Kasi yung race can be a uh, Asian, Asian race, Western, uh, African, American race, and everything. Okay, kapag more than two, ang gagamitin na natin dyan is analysis of variance or ANOVA. Okay, next we have since only certain values are possible. Ayan, trichotomous and we have multiple variables. Ay, paki, ano, paki, um, screenshot. Demographic variables. What are demographic variables? Could you please read? Third. Yes, Daisy Joy. Demographic variables are characteristics or attributes of subjects that are collected to describe the sample. They are also called sample characteristics. It means these variables describe study, sample, and determine if samples are representative of the population of interest. Although demographic variables cannot be manipulated, researchers can explain the relationship between demographic variables and dependent variables. Some common demo demographic variables are age, gender, occupation, marital status, income, and it. Okay, so extraneous variable. What are extraneous variable? Sir. Yes, uh, Victoria. Extraneous variable. It happens sometimes that after com completion of the study, we wonder that the actual result is not what we expected. Correct. In spite of taking all the possible measures, the outcome is unexpected. It is because of extraneous variables. Variables that may affect research outcomes but have not been adequately considered in the study are termed as extraneous variables. Yes, extraneous variables exist in all studies and can affect the measurement of study variables and the relationship among these variables. Correct. Okay. So, extraneous variables. Uh, could you please continue, uh, Charlotte? Sir? Yes. Could you please uh, continue? Certain external variables may influence the relationship between the research variables even but research researcher cannot see it. These variables are called in interva intervening intervening variables. Very good. These intervening variables are intervene nakakagulo. Okay. So these variables that uh, variables that researcher cannot see. Okay. But it, these are variables that are unpredictable. Okay. We have also the confounding variables. Extraneous variables that are not recognized until the study is in process or recognized before the study is initiated but cannot be controlled. Hindi ito na po control. Okay? This is what we call the confounding variables. These variables interfere the results of the existing activity. We have also what we call the intervening variables, the types of the extraneous variables. We have the control variable in the experimentation, in the experimental method, we use con we have control variable or the variable that we add that we uh, con okay. Okay, example nito. In the ice cube experiment, one constant or controllable variable could be the size and shape of the cube. Okay, so it is uh, the treatment is controlled, but okay, sometimes it can be intervened. 
by heat. Okay? So, intervening variable na yun. Okay? So, it is easier to measure the differences between the fuels as they melt after shifting their position as they all started out as the same size. Okay, do you have any more questions? Do you have any more questions, guys? Are you sure? So those are the types of variables. And uh, I'm going yes. to upload this module. So you may download and edit the module. So you can put your answer in with, and uh, turn in your answer not later than the third week of November. Okay. I'm ready. What do you Wait lang ha. Ayun. Okay, wala naman lang. Other, mahirap na activity. I think madali lang ito masagutan. No? Makikita nyo namin yung sagot dito sa let's elaborate. So what I just uh, uh, discussed, yung mga uh, additional for this. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the re this recording because we're going to talk on your uh, research study, okay?